In this heartfelt video, we paid tribute to the beloved actors from the iconic TV show, Friends, who are no longer with us. Join us as we remember the 41 individuals who brought so much joy and laughter into our lives with their unforgettable performances. From central characters to memorable guest stars, we'll reflect on their contributions to the series and the impact they had on fans around the world. Let's celebrate their lives and legacy as we honor their memory. Ron Liebman Ron Liebman, a talented American actor, is best known for his roles in both television and theater. He gained widespread recognition for his work on the popular TV show Friends, where he played Dr. Leonard Green, the father of main character Rachel Green, in four episodes. However, his career extended far beyond this role. Born on October 11, 1937, Liebman had a passion for acting from a young age and went on to have a successful career in both television and theater. His talent shone brightly in the theater world, where he took on the challenging role of Roy Cohn in Angels in America. For this exceptional performance, he won the Tony Award for Best Actor in a Play and the Drama Desk Award for Outstanding Actor in a Play in 1993. In addition to his achievements in theater, Liebman also made a name for himself in television. He won a Primetime Emmy Award in 1979 for his portrayal of Martin, Kaz, Kaczynski in the crime drama series Kaz. His versatile acting skills allowed him to excel in various genres and bring complex characters to life. Liebman's contributions to the entertainment industry were significant, and his legacy lives on through his memorable performances. He passed away on December 6, 2019, at the age of 82, after a battle with pneumonia. His passing marked the loss of a respected and accomplished figure in the world of acting. James Michael Tyler In Friends, Tyler played Gunther, a barista at Central Perk Coffeehouse who was known for his unrequited love for Rachel Green, played by Jennifer Aniston. Gunther's quiet but devoted affection for Rachel became a running subplot throughout the series. His character provided comic relief as well as heartfelt moments, becoming a beloved supporting character in the show. His presence at Central Perk often added to the dynamics between the main cast, making him a memorable and cherished part of the sitcom. James Michael Tyler, born on May 28, 1962, was an American actor known for his role as Gunther in NBC's sitcom Friends. His early work included film editing and production assistance, contributing to projects like Fat Man and Little Boy. Tyler also appeared in the 1997 thriller film Motel Blue as Oscar Bevins. He was diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2018, and publicly disclosed his illness in June 2021, after the release of Friends, The Reunion. The cancer spread to his spine, and he relied on a wheelchair during his final months. Tyler passed away from complications of the disease at his home in Los Angeles, California, on October 24, 2021, at the age of 59. Paxton Whitehead Paxton Whitehead played Mr. Waltham, Rachel Green's Bloomingdale boss. In two episodes of Friends in 1998, he was an English actor and theater director known for his work on Broadway, where he received a Tony Award nomination for his role in the 1980 revival of Camelot. His career extended to film and television, with notable guest appearances on popular 1990s sitcoms such as Frasier, Ellen, and Mad About You. Whitehead's portrayal of Mr. Waltham showcased his ability to bring a distinct comedic presence to the show. In the movie Friends, Mr. Waltham's character plays a significant role in Rachel Green's storyline. He is her demanding and somewhat difficult boss at Bloomingdale's, presenting challenges and comedic moments as Rachel navigates her career. His character adds depth to Rachel's workplace dynamics and highlights her professional growth. Whitehead's portrayal of Mr. Waltham is memorable for its sharp wit and comedic timing. Whitehead passed away on June 16, 2023 at the age of 85 due to complications from a fall. Matthew Perry Matthew Perry was an actor beloved by many for his iconic role as Chandler Bing on the long-running NBC sitcom Friends. He played Chandler from the show's debut in 1994 until its conclusion in 2004, earning a Screen Actors Guild Award for outstanding performance by an ensemble in a comedy series alongside his co-stars. Born Matthew Langford Perry on August 19, 1969, in the United States, Perry held dual citizenship in America and Canada. His time on Friends brought him international fame, but his acting career extended beyond the popular series. Perry played roles in other TV shows like Ally McBeal and received critical acclaim for his performances on The West Wing and The Ron Clark Story, which earned him Primetime Emmy Award nominations. He also starred in films like Fool's Rush in 1997, Almost Heroes 1998, 
the whole nine yards, 2000, and 17 again, 2009. Perry ventured into production and writing as well, co-creating and starring in the ABC sitcom Mr. Sunshine in 2011 and taking on the lead role in NBC's Go On in 2012. He continued to make appearances in other series, including recurring roles in the legal dramas The Good Wife and The Good Fight. Perry was also involved in a revival of the CBS sitcom The Odd Couple, portraying Oscar Madison from 2015 to 2017. Despite his professional successes, Perry faced personal struggles with drug and alcohol addiction throughout his life. His recovery journey led him to become an advocate for rehabilitation and a spokesperson for the National Association of Drug Court Professionals. In recognition of his efforts, he was awarded the Champion of Recovery Award by the White House Office of National Drug Control Policy in 2013. Perry also shared his experiences in his 2022 memoir, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing. Tragically, Matthew Perry passed away on October 28, 2023, at the age of 54. His death was determined to be caused by the acute effects of ketamine, according to the County of Los Angeles Department of Medical Examiner. Perry's legacy as a talented actor, producer, and advocate for recovery continues to inspire and resonate with many people around the world. Several of the show's guest stars have also passed away, including Mary Pat Gleason. Mary Pat Gleason, known for her role as Nurse Sizemore in the season 1 episode, the one with George Stephanopoulos, of the popular sitcom Friends, was a prominent American film and television actress. Born on February 23, 1950, Gleason made a name for herself with her multifaceted career, including her role as Jane Hogan on the daytime soap opera Guiding Light from 1983 to 1985. Notably, she was also an Emmy Award-winning writer for her work on the show. Gleason's impressive contributions to the entertainment industry spanned decades, but her life was tragically cut short when she passed away from cancer on June 2, 2020, at the age of 70. Stan Kirsch Stan Kirsch, known for his role as Monica's boyfriend Ethan in the season 1 episode, the one with the ick factor, of Friends, was a versatile figure in the entertainment industry. Born on July 15, 1968, Kirsch was an accomplished actor, screenwriter, director, and acting coach. He made a significant impact with his role as Richie Ryan in Highlander, the series from 1992 until his departure in 1997. Although he returned for a guest appearance in the series finale in 1998, Kirsch's talents extended to directing and producing, debuting in these roles with Straight Eye, the movie in 2004. He later established his own acting studio, Stan Kirsch Studios, in 2008. Tragically, Kirsch was found dead in his Los Angeles home on January 11, 2020, at the age of 51. His death was ruled a suicide by hanging by the Los Angeles coroner's office. Fred Willard Fred Willard played Dean Lipson in the season 2 episode. The one after the Super Bowl, Part 1. Fred Willard, an American actor and comedian born on September 18, 1933. He gained further recognition with his role as Ed Harkin in the Anchorman films and earned two Primetime Emmy nominations for his performance as Frank Dunphy on the sitcom Modern Family. Tragically, Willard passed away at his Los Angeles home on May 15, 2020, at the age of 86, due to cardiac arrest and related health issues. News of his death was first shared by Jamie Lee Curtis, whose husband frequently worked with Willard. Joel Beeson. In the popular TV show Friends, he played Todd, also known as The Ombre Man, in season 2's episode, The One with the Breast Milk. Joel Beeson, born on September 13, 1966, in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, was a talented actor known for his roles in film and television. Beeson also appeared in notable films such as Death Becomes Her, 1992, the Favor, 1994, and Ballistic, 1995, showcasing his versatility on screen. Sadly, his life was cut short when he passed away on October 17, 2017, at the age of 51 in Galax, Virginia. His death occurred at Twin County Regional Hospital, leaving behind a legacy of memorable performances in the entertainment industry. Audra Lindley Audra Lindley played the role of Phoebe's grandmother in the Season 2 episode, the one with Phoebe's dad. Audra Lindley, born on September 24, 1918, was an esteemed American actress best known for her role as the quirky landlady Helen Roper on the classic sitcom Three's Company and its spin-off The Ropers. Lindley's performance in these shows endeared her to audiences, solidifying her reputation as a talented comedic actress. In addition to her television success, 
She made a memorable guest appearance as Phoebe's grandmother in Friends during season 2. Lindley was married twice in her lifetime. Her first marriage was to Hardy Ulm from 1943 until his passing in 1970, with whom she had five children. She later married actor James Whitmore, but their marriage ended in 1979. Tragically, Lindley passed away on October 16, 1997, at the age of 79, due to complications from leukemia at Cedars Sinai Medical Center. Her final resting place is a grave near her parents at Woodlawn Memorial Cemetery in Santa Monica, California, where she was cremated and her ashes buried. Her contributions to television left a lasting impact, and she is remembered fondly by fans and colleagues alike. Danny Dayton Danny Dayton played the role of Mr. Heckle's lawyer, Buddy Doyle, in the season 2 episode, The One Where Heckles Dies. Danny Dayton, born Daniel David Siegel on November 20, 1923, was a versatile American actor and television director known for his work on screen starting in the 1950s. Dayton's acting career spanned numerous roles in both film and television, allowing him to establish a notable presence in the entertainment industry. One of his more memorable appearances was on the hit TV show Friends, where he played Mr. Heckle's lawyer, Buddy Doyle, in the season 2 episode, The One Where Heckles Dies. Dayton's talent and dedication to his craft were evident through his work across various genres and productions. Tragically, Dayton's life was cut short when he passed away from emphysema on February 6, 1999, in Los Angeles, California. Despite his untimely death, his contributions to the world of entertainment continue to be celebrated, and he is remembered fondly by audiences and colleagues for his impactful work on screen. Robin Williams Robin Williams played Tomas in the season 3 episode, the one with the ultimate fighting champion. Robin McLaurin Williams, born on July 21, 1951, was a renowned American actor and comedian celebrated for his extraordinary improvisational skills and ability to bring a wide range of characters to life on film. He excelled in both comedy and drama, earning acclaim as one of the greatest comedians of all time. Williams's remarkable career earned him numerous accolades, including an Academy Award, two Primetime Emmy Awards, six Golden Globe Awards, five Grammy Awards, and two Screen Actors Guild Awards. In 2005, he was honored with the prestigious Cecil B. DeMille Award. Tragically, Williams was found dead at his home in Paradise K, California, on August 11, 2014. The final autopsy report revealed his death was a suicide by hanging, with no involvement of alcohol or illegal drugs and prescription drugs present at therapeutic levels. Williams struggled with depression and anxiety, and further examination of his brain tissue suggested he had diffuse Lewy body dementia. His widow, Susan Schneider Williams, highlighted that his condition was rooted in neurology rather than psychology, emphasizing the impact of Lewy body dementia on his life and the lack of cultural understanding around brain diseases. Despite the complexity of his medical history, medical experts diagnosed Williams with Parkinson's disease. His death and legacy have sparked important conversations about mental health and neurological conditions. Shelley Berman Shelley Berman played the role of Mr. Kaplan Jr. in the season 3 episode, The One Where Rachel Quits. Sheldon Leonard Berman, born on February 3, 1925, was a versatile American comedian, actor, writer, teacher, and lecturer with a distinguished career in the entertainment industry. He made a significant impact with his comedy albums, earning three gold records and securing the first Grammy Award for a spoken comedy recording in 1959. His talents extended to acting, with a notable performance as Larry David's father on Curb Your Enthusiasm in 2008, for which he received an Emmy Award nomination. Beyond his accomplishments in entertainment, Berman shared his knowledge and passion for humor by teaching humor writing at the University of Southern California for over two decades, influencing the next generation of comedic talent. Tragically, Berman passed away at his home in Bell Canyon, California, on September 1, 2017, at the age of 92, due to complications from Alzheimer's disease. His legacy is preserved through his archive, which was donated to the National Comedy Center in Jamestown, New York, ensuring that his contributions to comedy will continue to inspire for years to come. Peter Dennis Peter Dennis played the role of Sherman Whitfield in the season 3 episode, The One Where Nobody's Ready. Peter Dennis, born on October 25, 1933, was a distinguished English actor whose career spanned film, television, theater, and voice work on both sides of the Atlantic. He appeared in numerous projects, including his role as Sherman Whitfield in the Friends season 3 episode, The One Where Nobody's Ready. 
His work was recognized with prestigious awards such as the Screen Actors Guild Award and the Drama Logue Award. Dennis was perhaps best known for his long-standing dedication to the works of A.A. Milne, performing a one-man show called Bother. The brain of Pooh for over three decades. His nuanced and heartfelt portrayal of the beloved characters from the Winnie the Pooh stories endeared him to audiences around the world. Dennis's versatility extended to appearances in productions such as The Avengers and Sideways, showcasing his broad range and talent. Sadly, Peter Dennis passed away on April 18, 2009, in Shadow Hills, Los Angeles, California, leaving behind a legacy of exceptional performances and a deep appreciation for classic literature and storytelling. His contributions to the arts have left an indelible mark on the industry and continue to be celebrated by fans and fellow artists alike. Charlton Heston Charlton Heston played himself in the season 4 episode, the one with Joey's Dirty Day. Charlton Heston, born John Charles Carter on October 4, 1923, was a legendary American actor and political activist known for his commanding presence and powerful performances on screen. He achieved fame for his roles in a variety of film genres, including biblical epics, science fiction, and action films. His most acclaimed performances earned him an Academy Award, along with nominations for three Golden Globe Awards and three Primetime Emmy Awards. Heston's impact extended beyond his acting, receiving numerous honorary awards for his humanitarian efforts and contributions to the industry. These honors included the Jean Hersholt Humanitarian Award in 1978, the Golden Globe Cecil B. DeMille Award in 1967, the Screen Actors Guild Life Achievement Award in 1971, the Kennedy Center Honors in 1997, and the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2003. Heston passed away at the age of 84 on April 5, 2008, in his Beverly Hills, California home. His devoted wife of 64 years, Lydia, was by his side, along with their son Fraser Clark Heston and daughter Holly Ann Heston. Though the family did not initially disclose the cause of death, media outlets later reported it was due to pneumonia. Heston's legacy endures through his iconic roles and significant contributions to the world of film and advocacy. Taylor Negron Taylor Negron played Ali Sandro in the season 4. Brad Stephen, Taylor, Negron, born on August 1, 1957, was a multifaceted American talent known for his work as an actor, comedian, writer, and artist. Negron's unique sense of humor and distinctive screen presence made him a memorable figure in the entertainment industry. He is perhaps most recognized for his roles as Albert in the 1988 comedy Punchline and as Milo in the 1991 action comedy The Last Boy Scout. Negron's career was marked by his versatility, with his performances spanning film, television, and stage. In addition to his acting work, Negron was a skilled writer and artist, demonstrating his creativity in multiple disciplines. Tragically, Negron was diagnosed with liver cancer in 2008, and after a years-long battle with the illness, he passed away on January 10, 2015, at his home in Los Angeles, California, surrounded by loved ones. He was 57 years old at the time of his passing. Gretchen Weiler Gretchen Weiler played the role of widow Mrs. Burkhart in the season 4 episode, The One with the Dirty Girl. Gretchen Weiler, born Gretchen Patricia Wienick on February 16, 1932, was a talented American actress and dancer known for her impactful roles on stage and screen. In addition to her performance as widow Mrs. Burkhart in season 4 of Friends, Weiler had a versatile career that included numerous roles in television, film, and theater. Her passion extended beyond her artistic pursuits, as she was a dedicated advocate for animal rights and the founder of the Genesis Awards, which recognized achievements in animal protection. Weiler's commitment to her craft and her advocacy made her a respected figure in the entertainment industry and beyond. Tragically, she passed away on May 27, 2007, at the age of 75 due to complications from breast cancer. Lillian Chauvin Lillian Chauvin played the role of Joey's grandmother in the season 5 episode, the one where Ross can't flirt. Lillian Chauvin, born on August 6, 1925, was a versatile French-American actress, television host, director, writer, and acting teacher. Hailing from Paris, Chauvin's career began in France, where she performed on the radio and on stage in England. Her passion for acting led her to move to the United States in 1952, where she pursued her dream and initially appeared in minor television roles before making her film debut in 1957. Chauvin's career spanned several decades and encompassed a range of creative pursuits. In addition to her acting work, she shared her knowledge and expertise by teaching acting, 
helping to shape the careers of aspiring performers. Her contributions to the industry were widely recognized, and her impact on the arts was significant. Tragically, Chauvin passed away at her home in Studio City, Los Angeles, on June 26, 2008, at the age of 82. Her death was due to complications from breast cancer and congestive heart disease. Despite her passing, her legacy endures through her body of work and the many lives she touched through her teaching and mentorship. Gary Collins Gary Collins played himself in the season 5 episode, the one where Phoebe hates PBS. Gary Ennis Collins, born on April 30, 1938, was a renowned American actor and television host whose versatile career spanned several decades. He made a memorable appearance on Friends in the season 5 episode, the one where Phoebe hates PBS, playing himself. Collins was a respected figure in the entertainment industry, earning accolades for his work both in front of and behind the camera. He passed away on October 13, 2012, but his work endures, remembered fondly by those who appreciated his diverse talents. Paul Xavier Gleason Paul Gleason played the role of Phoebe's former boss, Jack, in the season 6 episode, The One That Could Have Been. Paul Xavier Gleason, born on May 4, 1939, was a talented American film and television actor recognized for his memorable roles in series such as All My Children and iconic films like The Breakfast Club, Trading Places, and Die Hard. His ability to bring depth and nuance to a variety of characters made him a standout performer in the industry. Gleason's life was cut short on May 27, 2006, when he passed away at a hospital in Burbank, California. He was 67 years old. His death was attributed to pleural mesothelioma, a form of lung cancer linked to asbestos exposure, which he likely encountered while working on construction sites for his father during his youth. Gleason's final resting place is located near the southeast corner of the Westwood Village Memorial Park Cemetery in Westwood, Los Angeles. Although his time was cut short, Gleason's impact on the world of film and television remains significant, with audiences continuing to appreciate his work in beloved roles that showcased his skill and versatility as an actor. Conchata Farrell Conchata Farrell played the role of the judge who denied Ross and Rachel's annulment in the season 6 episode, the one with Joey's Portia. Farrell died on October 12, 2020, from complications following cardiac arrest at the Sherman Oaks Hospital in Sherman Oaks, California. 18, she was 77 years old. Richard Rote played the role of Bert in the season 6 episode, the one where Ross dates a student. Rote died of a heart attack on August 5, 2022, in Newport Beach, California. At the time of his death, he was married to Kathy Arntzen. Kelly Waymeyer played the role of Phoebe's friend who gave adoption advice to Monica and Chandler in the season 10 episode, the one where Ross is fine. On November 13, 2003, Waymeyer died in her home in Venice, Los Angeles, California of cardiac arrest caused by an undiagnosed cardiac arrhythmia, likely related to mitral valve prolapse, a condition with which she had been diagnosed as a teenager. Her funeral was held on November 23, 2003, in West Milton, Ohio. Ron Glass played the role of Russell, Ross Geller's divorce lawyer in two episodes. Glass never married, and though raised Catholic became a devout Buddhist, and a member of Soka Gakkai International. He died of respiratory failure on November 25, 2016, at the age of 71. He is interred at the Rose Hills Memorial Park in Whittier, California. Max Wright played the role of Terry, the owner of Central Perk, during the first two seasons of Friends. He was diagnosed with lymphoma, which was successfully treated and remained in remission until 2019. He died from the disease on June 26, 2019, at the age of 75 at the Lillian Booth Actors' home in Englewood, New Jersey. Mike Hagerty played the role of building super, Mr. Trigger, in five episodes. Hagerty died on May 5, 2022, while in a coma, at Cedars Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles after suffering from a seizure. He was 67. His death occurred five days ahead of his 68th birthday. His seizure was caused by an adverse reaction to antibiotics he was taking for an infection in his leg. Thank you for watching the entire video. Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this, and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.